Hello and welcome back to Road Trivia, the once a day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode is day number 295, but we're going to do something a little bit different today. And unlike the random knowledge trivia quizzes we've been doing recently, today we're doing a quiz from Ernie and Ellen Workman from Stillwell, Oklahoma. They've sent in a 21 question, but it has a specific category. The category is sewing. Keep that category in mind as we get started today. Question number one. Named after the village in Finland that the company was founded in, in 1649, Fiskars is a brand that sells what common sewing implement? You'd recognize them if you saw them. They sell scissors, usually orange-handled scissors. Question number two, now synonymous with sewing, what is the name of the American sewing machine company that was founded in New York City in 1851? That would be the Singer Sewing Company. Question number three, sewing machines have two sources of thread. One source is mounted on top and a second source comes from under the needle. What is this second source called? That second thread comes from the bobbin. Question number four, McCall's, Butterick, Vogue, New Look, Berta, Quick Sew, and Simplicity are companies that make what kind of sewing tool? It's a tool, it's an implement, it's kind of a guide. The answer is patterns. They make sewing patterns. Question number five, What is the name given to the small stuffed object, often shaped like a tomato, that is used to hold your needles while working on a project? It holds your needles and your pins. It's called a pin cushion. Question number six. Material is woven in both directions. The warp refers to the vertical lines on a woven cloth. And what is the term that refers to the horizontal lines? The answer is the weft or woof. Question number seven, sometimes called an overlocker, what type of sewing machine uses multiple thread feeds to neatly finish off the raw edges of your sewing project? That is called a serger. Question number eight, what is the name for the small sewing implement worn on one or more fingers that protects them from needle sticks? My mother used to have a collection of these. They were thimbles, little thimbles. Question number nine. This process to make decorative designs on materials requires a hoop to stretch the material tightly. One method is called cross stitch. What is this type of needlework called? What's the general name for it? The answer is embroidery. Question number 10. What is the name of the flat oddly shaped implement, usually made of tin or plastic, that usually accompanied a package of needles for hand sewing. What's that little dealio called? Or what's it used for? It was called a needle threader. And it that's what it did, threaded the needle. Question number 11. 
What is the name for the ancient art of stitching layers of fabric together, often with a layer of padding in between, to create warm and decorative bed covers or wall hangings? They've been doing it forever, but they still do it today. It's called quilting. Question number 12. The use of threads that are sewn into material and then pulled and shortened, usually like around the sleeves, what is that process called? You sew it into the sleeves and then you bunch it up. It's called gathering. Question 13. What is the term for the material that is used to stiffen certain parts of a garment, such as cuffs or collars? What's the specific name for that material? That is called interfacing. It gives it a little stiffness. Interfacing is the answer. Question number 14, early American girls were required to learn needlework and to show examples of their ability. What was that specimen of achievement commonly called? To demonstrate examples of what they could do, that was called a sampler. You can find those in thrift shops or in antique stores sometimes. Question number 15, now often held together by slime, what glass or plastic headed implements were once used to piece materials together until they could be stitched? Those were known as pins. Now they use an adhesive, but they used to use pins. Question number 16, what is the term for sewing the raw edges of the bottom of a skirt or pant legs to ensure that they do not unravel? That is called a hem, so you're hemming or making a hem on the bottom of those. Either one of those will work. Question number 17, what is the term for hand sewing parts of garments together temporarily until they can be machine sewn and then have the hand sewing removed? What's that process called? They call that basting or sometimes it's called tacking. You can tack it together until you machine sew it. Question number 18, what is the name for the profession of a person who either makes a garment or alters an existing garment to perfectly fit an individual? The profession we're looking for would be called a tailor. Question number 19, a delicate fabric made of yarn or thread in an open web-like pattern what is the name of this decorative product that is now mass produced by machines and sold in fabric stores? Old Mother Featherlegs was famous for the lace on her knickers. Lace is the answer. Question number 20. What is the name for the zigzag decorative material that was very popular, especially on children's clothing, in the 1950s and 1960s. What did they call that design or that material? The answer is rickrack. All right, that is it for today. Thank you for watching today's episode of Road Trivia. Thank you to Ernie and Ellen for sending in a great quiz. Doing this quiz today reminded me of how much I like specific category trivia. We've been doing random knowledge trivia for so long that we've gotten away from specific category, but today's sewing category, I really like that. In 2024, we'll be doing some more specific category trivia for sure. Thank you, Ernie and Ellen. Here is question 21, the tiebreaker for today. In what year did the Singer brand introduce the first practical electric sewing machine?
Whichever player gets closest is going to win the point. The answer is 1889. The Singer Sewing Company released the first fully electrical practical sewing machine. 1889 is the answer. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow for day number 296. Back to random knowledge trivia quizzes. See you then.